Hey, this is Joshua Growling, and in today's walkthrough, we're walking through how to make a user within Portal 2.0. You'll start by logging into Portal 2.0, and if your user has the Manage Users and Subscription toggle active, if you tap your icon up in the top right, there is an option to Manage Users. In the Manage Users webpage up in the top right, there is a Create button that one can use to add a new user to your account. Starting at the top, we're going to specify an email address for this user, followed by a password for this username, a name for this person, the company that they are associated with, and then the organization. In most cases, the organization is just the customer account that you're applied in, so you'll just select that customer account to make the user automatically be assigned to your specific customer account. The last two pieces to specify are the roles and phone number for this user. Uh, in terms of roles, a domain admin has access to every customer account within their domain. This is most common for multi-state operators that have multiple sister facilities that they need to oversee. This allows them to control devices and rules across all of their sites. An organization admin has the same permissions. They can change rules and device states. However, they can only do so within their own specific customer account. A read-only admin is only able to view sensor data and cannot make any controller level changes. And then own controllers only can only see and interact with controllers that are registered specifically to their email address. In most cases, customers are either organization admins or read-only admins. In this example, we're going to set up this fake user as an organization admin. The last piece here is to set a phone number for this customer. Um, we're going to start by specifying the area code and then the actual phone number of this person. The last two toggles here are the receive offline notifications and manage users and subscription toggle. If you toggle the receive offline notifications active, if your email address is assigned to the status notification emails field in the profile of the controller, you will receive offline alerts if the controller spends longer than 20 minutes uh, not talking to our device cloud and can alert you if your controller has fallen offline. The Manage Users and Subscription toggle allows the user to manage the users for the site, as well as the site's Growlink Pro subscription. So if they need to access either of those screens, they do need to have this permission. Once all of that is specified, if you hit the Create User button, it will assign this user to this account and show up as an available user.